Hey guys, this is Shanna B and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited that you decided to join me today. I just kind of wanted to bring you in um, on what's happening in my life right now. I feel like there's so much newness, so much change that's going on and I just wanted to share with you my experience with it. I feel like, you know, life is all about change. But there are some seasons where I feel like he really changes. It's like shifts. You know drastic shifts and so I kind of just wanted to bring you in on that here we go so it's no mistaken I'm a Christian I proclaim that very loud and proud okay and in this season I've prayed for God to really just give me a new perspective um, new insight on circumstances and people in my life and he is starting to answer that prayer I truly feel he is answering that prayer and just really taking my old heart and putting in a new heart and a new spirit and there's this verse that I've really been standing on right now because I feel like this is so perfect for what it is that I'm going through and I'm gonna read it right now so in Ezekiel 36 26 he says I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you I will remove your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh and so I really feel like this is so perfect for what it is I'm experiencing I feel like God is truly removing my heart of stone and really replacing it with a heart of flesh you know we all have these areas guys where we are hardened whether it be from past pains, hurts, whatever it is, we have these areas where we are closed off. But God is removing that and giving me a heart that can feel, a heart that is responsive, that is responsive to Him. And it's beautiful and it's wonderful. Y'all know how it is when God starts answering prayers. You're like, ooh, ooh. So I, there's just this level of excitement. I'm like, God is doing this. He's like doing this new thing in me. And last week, I started to get a little overwhelmed with it. Just sitting there thinking about what he was doing because I realized that in this new thing that he's doing with this new spirit that he's given me, it also comes with greater responsibility. And I was like, ooh, God, are you sure? This is what I'm supposed to be doing? This is how I'm supposed to act? Or this is how I'm supposed to deal with that person? Are you me? Mm. Let's come back another time. I got really nervous and afraid of the change. And I don't know if any of you can relate to that when you know things start shifting. And sometimes it can just be um, very, you know, daunting at times because I still sometimes think that I'm like, Lord, this is how you see me. This is how you envision me, me, me. Little old Shayna, like, you know, it's, it's just baffling to me, but God is like, boo-boo, I need you to level up. It's time to be different, it's time to do different. I need more of you in this season so that more of my kingdom can be visualized here on earth. Yeah, so I kind of just had to, to really sit with that and rest in that. And I think sometimes with a lot of change and shifting, there comes resistance I think naturally as you know humans and flesh there's like this resistance to it and I've really had to surrender and let God do this new thing you know God can't give you a new spirit he can't give you a new heart if you're not surrendered okay you have to have an unwavering faith in him that he knows what he's doing he knows what he's doing and that he truly has your best interest at heart because he does and with that, I've really had to be intentional about my time with God, meditating on his truths, connecting with him on a deeper level so he can do his new thing. It's kind of like, you know, I feel like it's kind of like surgery a little bit, right? Like, you know, you just have to let the doctor do his thing, you know, and I just have to let God do his thing and trust that he's going to make me better than I was before y'all and so my desire in this season is just to be responsive to God I just want to respond to him when he says go I go when he says stay I stay when 
he says do that, I do that. That's the kind of Christian, that's the kind of daughter I want to be to a father who is absolutely perfect to me. My desire is to not be stubborn to his ways, to not be stubborn to his commands, to not be stubborn to what it is that he is telling me or calling me into. I just want to respond. Yeah, I just want to willingly respond. So I just truly, truly, if you're in a season of change, just to really press in, guys, and embrace it because God is definitely up to something. And I don't know what it is, guys, but this season is just, I don't know what's in the atmosphere. I don't know what's in the air, but there's this positive energy of just expectation of what God is going to do. And I am just trying to ride this wave because it is amazing. So I encourage you if you're in a season of change, you know, trust him, trust him. And he will do that new thing. And I'll just leave you with this verse. It says, create in me a clean and pure heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. And that he will do. That's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hit subscribe, comment below, and let me know how you guys are navigating your seasons of change or how you have navigated them in the past, okay? I'll be back with more videos. One love. Bye. That's it for now, guys. That's it for now, y'all. Um, y'all. Hey, you said that one's for you, y'all. <laughs> With that, I really had to be intentional. 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 <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> no. Um, I